Good morning, beloved. Peace be with you. Today, on uh, the second Sunday of Easter, is Divine Mercy Sunday. We're just going to focus on our, in our gospel passage on that aspect of mercy um, and um, <clears throat> really center on the main focus and purpose where Jesus appears to the disciples uh, for, for the reason of sending them on mission. And he sends them on mission, empowering them for this mission with the Holy Spirit. And the mission in this passage is to go and forgive sins. <laughs> So a good passage, a good focus for us for Divine Mercy Sunday. You know, he says, receive the Holy Spirit, and whosoever sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. So we're not going to talk about the sacrament of reconciliation, but we're going to talk about the power that each one of us have to forgive those who sin against us or who hurt us in any way. Uh, we all have that power. We can all make that decision. And um, Jesus gives us his Holy Spirit to help us for the times we feel we don't have enough power or strength to forgive someone. You know, there's sometimes when people really hurt you and you say, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can forgive them. And that's where we get the Holy Spirit to help us. <laughs> so we'll look at that and just, so we'll just do a couple reminders for us. Um, not a complete treatise on forgiveness, but a couple reminders of, on forgiveness, some aspects of forgiveness and then we'll put it into practice before we leave. So we'll do a little activation or a little activity so we'll choose to forgive someone. We'll ask God, bring someone to our mind that, you, that we need to forgive, whether we realized it or not. And probably as we're talking, people will just start coming to your mind, you know? And you'll say, slow down, Holy Spirit. You know? <laughs> so just uh, quick, um, short reminders. First, when we're talking about mercy, God's mercy, Mercy is more than forgiveness. So maybe this was gone over, you know, a couple years ago when we had, you know, mercy, the year of mercy, the year of God's divine mercy. But we remember that mercy is not a free pass. It doesn't mean like, oh, everything just gets wiped away freely. You know, mercy does cost something. Uh, and mercy is, is forgiveness and more than forgiveness. Mercy is forgiveness and then also the grace or the strength that you and I need to change from that moment on, to go forward from that moment on and not do the same sins that we did that brought us to that place of asking for forgiveness. So mercy gives us forgiveness and strength to go forward and not fall into the same sins that we, we were into. So that's the good thing about mercy. And it does cost, it always costs something. Every time you and I forgive anybody else, it costs us something, right? We're, we're kind of saying, okay, I'll take the hit so we can uh, start over somehow. <clears throat> so uh, a couple of aspects on forgiveness. It's just good to rem remember, forgiveness, uh, first off, is not a feeling. You know, I don't have to feel like forgiving in order to forgive. Forgiveness is a decision. It's just like love. Love is not a feeling. It's a choice. I choose to love you even though if I don't feel like it, right? Sometimes I feel like it, and that helps me love you. That can help motivate my decision to choose to love you, but many times in life, you and I know, we have to just choose to love, even though we don't feel like it. And the same with forgiveness. Forgiveness is not a feeling or emotion. I don't need to feel like forgiving. I don't need to feel like I have forgiven. It's nice when the feeling is there, like, okay, I feel like forgiving you. And sometimes that <clears throat> feeling comes when people apologize and ask for forgiveness. That usually helps motivate and bring off that feeling that helps us then make a decision to choose to forgive. But we don't need a feeling. We don't have to feel like it to forgive. So we're not forgiving. Um, so forgiveness is a decision. I choose to forgive you. And if we need help, uh, then, then we say, we, just, we add Jesus in there. In the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive so-and-so for lying to me or whatever they did. So forgiveness is not a feeling. It's a decision we make. Forgiveness, um, we forgive for ourself, for freedom, to, for, to free ourself from the wound. We don't want the past, some past action controlling us today. 
So we choose to forgive in order to be free so that that past doesn't control us today. We're, uh, and sometimes we, we can um, get mixed up and, and, and not want to extend forgiveness to somebody because we think, well, if I don't forgive them, then yeah, they'll suffer like I'm suffering, you know? <laughs> or somehow like we, we feel like, yeah, we're hurting them by, I'm not going to forgive you, you know? And they probably don't even remember, right? <laughs> Uh, so we're, when we forgive, it actually frees us. It doesn't free them. It frees us to then be healed. That's what's really happening is when we say, Lord, God, I choose to forgive so-and-so for, for this. What we're doing is we're actually, in that, that statement, we're giving God permission to come in and touch us in that wounded area of our life and bring healing. That's what's happening when we say, I choose to forgive. We're basically saying, God, I'm asking you to come. I'm giving you permission to come into my life in this wounded area. Touch me with your healing touch and start to heal me there. So we, we forgive to free ourselves and to be healed ourselves. Forgiveness is for ourself. Forgiveness is not a feeling, and it's for ourself. And um, thankfully... By forgiving, just because you and I forgive somebody, doesn't mean we have to go and be best friends with them. <laughs> Forgiveness does not mean friendship. And that can be a, a, a good burden, too, uh, off of our back, you know. Because sometimes the person's still a jerk, or they don't deserve the friendship. They haven't earned back the trust yet, you know. That's a whole, so that's a whole other story. Friendship is a whole other story. Forgiveness does not equal friendship. It just equals freedom and healing, that beginning healing process between you and God. So those are just some nice reminders to, for us on forgiveness on Divine Mercy Sunday. And now we just want to put that into practice. You know, we just want to, um, we'll do this, a quick exercise together. We'll, I'm just going to, I'll tell you what we'll do and then we'll do it. We'll, we'll close our eyes. We're just going to ask God together out loud. God, is there anybody... Um, Bring to my mind somebody that I need to forgive, whether I realize it or not. And then we'll just pause and wait for the Holy Spirit to bring somebody a name or a person, an image, um, a situation to our minds that he wants us to forgive. That when, when he does this, he's saying, this is, where I, this is an area in your life where I want to heal, where we need, we need a little more healing. And then whoever God brings to our mind... Um, we will then speak out loud together and say, in the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive so-and-so for whatever they did. And when you get to that part, you can whisper, you know. <laughs> and I might just keep talking during that part to kind of bl blend it out there so nobody hears, you know. It's like one of those things, I choose to forgive so-and-so, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we'll just ask the Holy Spirit to come giving him permission again out loud to come and heal us in that area that we have just confessed. Sound good? This is a good practice you, you and I can do every day, really. Like, it's good to do um, before we go to bed during our examination of conscience time, just to keep inviting the Holy Spirit into our life for, to heal us more. There's, sometimes there's a lot of deep, wounded areas in our life that we've kind of subconsciously blocked out from the past, you know? And, and God will slowly just start to creep in there. Or other times, some, God will bring somebody to your mind and you, you think, I thought I already forgave that person, you know? And God's like, well, we just need a little more healing, a little deeper, a little deeper touch. So let's just do, um, do this act activity together. So we'll just uh, repeat after me. It's good for us to all say it out loud. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of forgiveness and for your Holy Spirit that helps empower us to forgive. Please bring to my mind a person in my life that I need to forgive. And now we'll just pause and give God a moment.
And if nobody comes, don't worry, somebody will probably come to mind later on today. But if somebody came to your mind, now we'll just say together out loud, in the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive. And I'm just going to talk right now while you whisper to God who you're going to forgive and why or what you're forgiving them for. And this whisper, a little whisper is good because uh, whatever we speak out loud makes, it takes effect in the world and in the atmosphere, really. Just, uh, so we'll just speak that out loud, kind of release, release and free ourselves from that burden. In the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive so-and-so for what they have done. And now let's just invite the Holy Spirit into our lives again together. Holy Spirit, come fill me up. Overflow me with your great love. And bring healing into this area of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, not bad. Sometimes you'll feel a lifting. Sometimes uh, people actually have been physically healed by forgiving. You know, it's interesting. Forgiveness heals us spiritually, emotionally, and also sometimes physically. Just that action of forgiveness. So now let's just stand together and renew our faith.